Thank you, James. This is kind of amazing. In the Super Bowl era, only two teams have scored more points per game in a season than the Saints. We're currently averaging 36.7. They trail only Tom Brady's 2007 Patriots and Lost in the Super Bowl. Peyton Manning's 2013 Broncos. Lost in the Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, the points uh, don't mean you're going to win. Wow. You get there, it don't. But it don't mean you're going to win. You're right. You're right. <laughs> that is factually correct. So, Jeezy, let's talk about Doug Peterson's mindset this yeah. week. Yeah. Had a meeting with his uh, leadership committee, uh, and there's about a dozen guys on that. Fletcher Cox, uh, Zach Ertz, Carson Wentz, the guys that you would expect. Mm -hmm. And the message to those guys was, don't walk around here sulking. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't feel discouraged. You may look at this game and the projections that many people are making for this game, which is going to be a runaway, which I believe Reggie believes is going to happen I here. Yep. Um, but don't act like it. Don't act like you're going into this game defeated because some of these younger guys are going to be looking at you and yeah. you have the skins on the wall after last year. Yeah, time out a second. Because isn't that wasn't that their whole mentality last year was us against the world. Yeah. We're the underdogs. That fueled them last year. Michael so Robinson played for a team that kept an edge for a long time. It's hard to keep it, that it, edge. It, 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 it's hard to keep the edge. And I think Doug Peterson understands uh, good energy being around the building. And yeah. no, you can't just sit around and sulk with the fact that you're 4-9. And, and if you lose this one, it could possibly be out of the, the playoffs, could possibly mm -hmm. be out of the realm of possibility. But I tell you one thing, this offense got to get straight in the red zone. It yeah. hasn't been good in the red zone. Last year, they led the National Football League with scoring touchdowns in the red zone at almost a 70% clip. That was mm -hmm. number one across the National Football League. This year, they're only scoring touchdowns, not three points, but touchdowns at only about a 56 uh, um, percent rate, meaning that you need to score touchdowns to win games to play championship football and not get uh, field goals. They do a great job moving the ball in between the 20s, but when they get in the red zone, they have to find somebody other than Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz seems to be the yeah. only guy that Carson Wentz looks for in the red zone. I expect them to move um, some of their receivers around a little bit more. Alshon Jeffrey, he's a big body, a guy that can post up and, and, and get the ball in the end zone. Move him around, move him in motions, put him in shifts, but you have to create some type of an offense to be better in the red zone. If you continue to score threes and not sevens, mm -hmm. I can guarantee you you won't go to the playoffs this year. One of the guys, John Filippo, now the offensive coordinator in in, uh, in Minnesota, was instrumental in their red zone game planning last year. I, I'm just I'm, I've been saying that a lot. I'm not harping on that. Mike Grohl and Press Taylor have jumped in at offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach. They're coming along, but those were two big losses with Filippo and Wright. But they also had Jay Ajayi last year too, being able to run the football yeah. Yeah. in the you red zone. You need Josh zone. Adams to be that you guy. You need Josh Adams to be that guy. Yeah, Reggie, and, and then also the running game. They're struggling right now. They're not getting it done. Um, they're ranked 22nd right now running the football. They're playing against the number one rush defense in the New Orleans Saints. So to me, what that says is um, the, the Philadelphia Eagles have to get more production from that backfield. Corey Clement, Smallwood, those guys got to be more efficient. Uh, they got to think four yards or more every time they touch Josh the football. Adams. Um, last year, the Eagles were ranked third. That was one of the biggest differences because they were chewing up the clock. They were able to control and dictate the tempo of the game through the running game with guys like LeGarrette Blunt. LeGarrette Blunt's not there anymore, and Darren Sproles is injured, and they've had a number of other injuries there at the running back position as well. So these guys have to step up. It has to be the next man up mentality because they're going into a hostile environment. Uh, it's going to be loud. It's not going to be easy, uh, and it's going to be tough sledding there. To me, yeah. Josh, Josh Adams needs to take over the starting running back of this, yeah. uh, of this particular team. He's last, the most physical guy. He's the got. most yeah. physical yeah. runner they had. Last week he had seven rushes, 47 yards. Get him the ball a little bit more. It sets yeah. up your play action. And use those other backs as mm -hmm. change-up types of guys. It's guns. like an Aaron Jones situation. Like, you know exactly. who the best back is. Yeah. Get him the it. ball. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and then you have a colossal mismatch, too, with all of the injuries in the Eagles secondary and Drew Brees coming in. So no Rodney McLeod, no, no uh, Jalen Mills this mm. week. He's not back Tough. either. Obviously, Ronald Darby. He's out, too. So mm -hmm. you have Drew Brees coming in here who's going to pick these guys apart. And so you have to figure out ways mm -hmm. to get around that, and, and that means keeping the ball out of Drew Brees' hands by running. Them. Running sounds the football. Like running there the you football. go. Sounds like Colleen's picking the Saints. So we got to say, you want to make a pick now? We can I make can't a make a pick now. right okay. now. We'll do it for tomorrow. tomorrow. Go ahead, make no. a pick. Got to watch every day. Right. That's right. Ain't going to change. Fresh <laughs> off that huge upset in Philly, the Cowboys, they're back. And this week they turn their attention to the Falcons. 